Welcome everyone. Today we are creating a music themed tutu dress. Now this particular tutu was created on a crochet top by the yard and we've hand sewn it. You can use these same instructions and create this as a skirt as well. Now I've already added some of the tool on here for you. I didn't want you to get bored because there's several layers. We're going to utilize music themed ribbon, music themed charms, ivory shimmering tool, black shimmering tool, some glitter tool, ribbon, and a floral embellishment. On a special note, we've already had to steam this a couple of times. Keep this in your hat for later. The steam did not affect the ribbon, so we're good there. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to show you a different way to put ribbon on your tool. One of the things I wanted to share with you is doesn't matter the brand, wax paper. It works really great for when you're doing a lot of hot gluing. You can take a regular paper plate, make sure it's paper plate and not styrofoam, and cover it in the wax paper and it's a great catch-all and holder for your glue guns. And it makes sure that it doesn't get all over the place because it'll adhere to the wax paper without penetrating the plate. So it's a simple step that you might want to try, especially if you bake, you've got some in the ha house anyway. All right, and what I've done here is I've taken a square piece and used masking tape because I'm going to be gluing, hot gluing, and I didn't want it to get on the area that I cut a lot because then it can mess up other tool. And it's very hard to get hot glue off of surfaces sometimes. Okay, first step, you've got your tool strips you're going to cut your ribbon to the width of your tool strip. Unfortunately, I usually just guesstimate, so I'm having to do this for each piece. We're using gross grain ribbon with musical notes on it. Now I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to heat seal quickly because gross grain can burn. But this way it makes sure that it doesn't fray real quickly on you. Real quick hint, I've already tested this out with the steamer and it did not come off, just the hot glue did not come off. All right, bring your tool piece together lay it on that surface that you've made with your wax paper again bring it together as closely as possible take your glue I put a thin thin dot just so that way when I lay my ribbon down it's not going anywhere then I add more glue bring it to the end or just above the bottom part. Rub it to smooth it out. Now, see using that wax paper? It comes off really easily. Now to make sure that I have enough glue, I put a little bit across and I use the tip to reheat the area that I put originally. Just put that aside. Grab your next piece. Same thing. Bring the tail ends together when it's folded over. Lay it flat on the surface that you're working on. Put a dot of glue. Now place your ribbon at the bottom or right above it. Press firmly, just smoothing it out. Now lift it.
flip it over. And then add another line of glue. Or you can even just add it at the ends. It's totally up to you. And I like to use my tip to smooth it out. Now if you're working with different colors, you can go ahead and invest in those colored glue pieces, the glue sticks that are colored. Or you can just be more careful and just add a touch on each side and it won't show as much. And here's some that are already completed. That's what it looks like on the back. And then we're just going to place it throughout our tutu. Now this works really good and isn't too time consuming if you're just making it as accents instead of that whole tutu having it. And I'll show you what it looks like as we're placing it. And you may think that it's difficult to place. It's not, I promise. So let me show you that. After you've completed putting the ribbon on your tool pieces, all you were doing is the slip knot method. The main thing is, is that as you're doing the slip knot method, you want to make sure that the ribbon is facing on the outside. And that's all there is to it. Now, it's a little bit wider of a hole that you're going to have to create with your fingers to run it through and then to tug down gently. But other than that, there's no difference than all that you normally do when you're creating a tutu with the slip knot method. As you see here, I am putting the ribbon tool sporadically. And we're doing this, first off, it saves time and it lowers the cost of what you're creating. Now on the top layer, that's going to be different. We're going to add the ribbon tool throughout. All right, just in case you didn't notice, once we've attached the ribbon, you're actually attaching it to both of the bottom tails. And this is what it looks like. And then that's what it looks like when it's all together. You're doing the slip knot method exactly as you normally do, except you're going to make sure that the ribbon is facing on the outside, obviously. Let me turn her. Put it through the crocheted hole. Make sure you make your hole a little bit wider just so it's easier to maneuver the ribbon through. Pull it gently through, making sure that the ribbon's facing on the outside. Gently tug, and there you go. To embellish this even further, we're adding some musical theme charms throughout. Now we have a full length video where it shows you more precisely how you can do this throughout the tutu. But as you can see here, we're just going in and out, doing a few knots at the end, and that's all there is to it. Now depending on how heavy your charm is, that will determine how many times you need to go in and out with your thread over your charm and through the tool. So just keep that in mind. We're going to continue to add these throughout, speed it up for you. Unfortunately, the part of the video with the flower put onto the crochet top did not take. So all we did was we took a rhinestone embellished ivory flower and a piece of felt. And we put it in the center after we ran some satin ribbon through the crocheted band or crocheted top, depending on what you're working with to make a lovely bow in the back. And all you have to do is find where you want to put the flower, take your felt circle, put it inside of the crocheted top or band, put your hot glue on the back of your flower, now place it on your crocheted top or band and press firmly. Now remember, don't add too much at a time. You can always add more, but sometimes it can squish through there and get messy on you. So I'm going to finish this up and let's see the end result. And here you have our completed music themed tutu dress. Now to recap, we utilized ivory and black shimmering tool, music themed gross grain ribbon, 
musical themed charms, one and a half inch ivory ribbon in satin, and we embellish the top with an ivory colored rhinestone centered flower. Our music themed couture tutu is available at both our sites, Tutu Cute and NaomiInspired.etsy.com. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to be having a giveaway for the upcoming Christmas holiday season. We thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Remember, anything that you create is going to be fantastic. Why? Because you took the time to create it. From my family to yours, have a blessed day. bothering you still you look beautiful tonight that's right Ooh. girl your sisters are jealous of you cause you're so wonderful inside that's right Princess for life, that's right.